Poland's heading to the ballot box this weekend, and with the events of the past few years over the backdrop of the war in Ukraine, this could end up being the most important election in decades. But you wouldn't think so just by looking at the main two parties in the election, which are the same two parties that have been ruling Poland for the last 18 years. The ruling Christian Nationalist Party Law and Justice, or PiS, and the center-right civic platform led by former European Council President Donald Tusk. But since PiS got re-elected in 2015, the party has rolled back LGBTQ rights, banned abortions, and undertook a series of reforms which observe as say endangered democracy in the country. A big difference in this year's election is the rise of some of the smaller parties. The one everyone is talking about is the libertarian far-right party Confederatia, which is, if you combine the politics of, say, Elon Musk and Jordan Peterson, you get roughly their ideology, and that's attracting a lot of young people who didn't vote in previous elections. Meanwhile, Tetya Droga, or Third Way, and the Social Democratic Levitsa party are also trying to gain support, presenting themselves as alternatives to the two parties that have ruled Poland for a generation. Those three parties have about 10% each in the polls, so none of them are going to win on their own, but Sunday's vote will determine which of them have a seat at the table for the first time, so follow for more.